Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Joyce by Mitali. I hope you all are doing extremely well. In today's video, I'm doing a Procreate tutorial where I'm showing you how you can give drop shadow to your jewelry sketches very easily. I feel shadows give a very realistic and polished and enhanced look to your sketches. So let's begin the tutorial. Okay, so to begin with, let's open the Procreate app. I'm selecting the plus sign here for a new canvas. I'm selecting the A4 size because I usually work with the A4 size canvas for my jewelry renderings. I'm changing the background color to a gray tone. All of my jewelry drawings are usually on the gray tone and it will be easier for me to show you the shadow. Now I'm selecting a yellow color and a monoline pen. I'll just draw a simple round object to help you understand how to give the shadow okay I'm going to render this roughly to make it look like a jewelry object so I'm selecting the alpha lock first which will help me render easily and the soft brush I'll increase the brush size a little bit and then I'm just going to render it a little now suppose I want to give a drop shadow for this object okay I'm just going to duplicate this layer from the layers panel okay now i have two copies now in this one layer either one you can select and here i'm going to fill this layer with the black color okay make sure the alpha lock is on and you select a black color and over here you have an option of fill layer once i select fill layer you can see this layer has turned completely black now whichever color you select over here that color will be filled onto this layer so make sure we select a black here okay now that this is done, I'm going to remove the alpha lock in this layer, okay? Now I'm going to move this drop shadow to somewhere here, okay? Usually if the light source is top left, I would like to move the shadow towards the bottom, uh, bottom side of the object. Now this shadow to me is a little too uh, solid and it's like a block figure. So to give it a little blur effect, in this adjustments panel okay i'm going to gaussian blur okay you select gaussian blur and then you have to slide from left to right as i'm sliding you can see the shadow is getting a sort of blur effect okay so i'm going to blur it somewhere around between 10 to 15 percent okay i think that much is a su suitable range to give a realistic shadow once done, you select the adjustment panel again. Okay. Now, if you select this arrow tool here, you can move the shadow around. Where, whichever side you feel like it works out. Okay. So, now if you want to drop shadow like this, you can leave it here. If you want to create a shadow below the surface, make sure this free form is selected here. And then you can actually manipulate the shape of the shadow to give it a sort of different look okay so you can also change the shapes of your shadows once it is done now i've shown you how to do it on a simple object now i'm showing you how it's done for the jewelry piece also this is a jewelry rendering which i had done earlier i've just copied it from a different canvas to this canvas so now i have all of these elements in this earring on one layer itself okay so i'm creating a duplicated image and now again i have to select a black color here from the palettes and i have to fill layer now if I press fill layer, it's going to fill in, in the entire canvas, not only on the earring. Why? Because I have not selected the alpha lock. So first I select alpha lock and then I select fill layer. Now you can see it's only fill layer on the earring selected. So I remove the alpha lock after the fill is done. Again, I'm going to drop it somewhere around here. Okay. This is giving a very nice realistic look to my hearing now again this is a little too solid the shadow so i'm going into gaussian blur i'm going to blur it out a little as i'm sliding my pencil you can see there's this really soft and smooth blur happening okay so this to me seems okay so i'm going to leave it at this again you can move it around even after you're done you can place it as back as this but i like to place it a little closer to the object it gives a more realistic look Okay, so this is how we create a drop shadow. 
so that was it for this video thank you very much for watching you can let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts or if there's a, any other topic you would like me to cover i'll definitely look into it thanks again please like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next tutorial keep shining with jewels by mitali bye